here in the UK. Uh, nice crisp 7 a.m. And so uh, it's always good to be be here uh, first thing in the morning. Now, I just need to adjust my camera. So at the moment I'm on, I'm live streaming on uh, Facebook and YouTube. But what we want to do is a live stream on Amazon.com. So that's Amazon in the States. Put that back. Uh, yeah, Amazon in the States, uh, which is awesome. I'll take that off. And I'm just just changing my auto settings on my camera. So hopefully that will stop flickering. Um, yeah, Amazon.com is where we want to live stream to. So let me uh, have a little demo for you. I'm going to go live on Amazon as well. But if you're not watching in in the states if you're in the uk or australia somewhere else you might not know what amazon live is so i'm using uh, my favorite software third party software today be live or be dot live uh, for live streaming here because it does some brilliant brilliant little things um not least uh, it allows me to share my screen which is always good um so if you want to go and see Amazon live in action. I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how you do it. Um, it kind of made sense to me. So it, yeah, there you go. So that is my storefront. So on the bottom here, as you can see, we've got uh, uh, we've got the tracker saying go to Amazon Nickwood dot live. That is all you need to type in. But I know people in the that aren't in the states might not be aware of of how we do that. So we go into Amazon.com. Uh, Amazon.com, that one will do. Uh, and then we click on, oh, I need to share the right screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's share the right screen. Let's go to Amazon.com, that one. And stop sharing that one and pop that one in stream that's better so type in amazon.com in your browser you should go live and you've got a little hamburger bar here with all that's the three lines there as we call the hamburger uh, you drop down on that and you can go and you find live amazon live there you go programmer features amazon live you can have live or recently live let's click on live and lo and behold, oh my goodness me, who is that handsome devil uh, right there? <laughs> tis, tis I. Um, so yeah, so I'm live. So at the moment we got uh, myself, oh, Randall is uh, is brilliant. Actually, I'm going to quickly share your Randall's, uh, share your Randall's page. Uh, I was chatting to Randall the other day, uh, Randall and CC, absolutely brilliant. Uh, they're all about food stuffs. So, uh, so they're live as well, and we've got home items. I love is live as well. Dream it diner. So, uh, so that's cool. That is what we like to see. Three people live, fantastic. But anyway, uh, this is and this is the thing. This is our show is learn and earn uh, live stream essentials. So I talk you through my live stream kit. Let me take that off the screen now. Uh, all the kit that I, I use to go live and we go live because we sell online and that's the whole reason I'm live streaming every day. You know, I live stream every day, mostly twice a day, uh, basically because you get new audience every time. Amazon is the place to be. So whilst we're now on Amazon Live, as I demonstrated, I'm going to just say hi to the Amazon uh, Amazon family in the comments on Amazon. And if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, they do uh, switch over, switch over to the Amazon site. Go to nickwood.live. That's all you need to type in your in your browser and that will take you straight there. OK, let's have a little look now on Amazon. We have our awesome carousel and to live stream on Amazon. The first thing you do need uh, as a live stream influencer is you're going to need an iOS device, an Apple iOS device. Now, that can be a phone. It could be a um, a, an iPad, but uh, but it needs to be a mobile iOS device, so you can download the app, and from the app, that's where you go live. And you, you from the app, you can either go live on your phone camera, which I will be doing later on. I have the Keto Nick Cooking Show later, um, so you can more than welcome to join me on that. 
it's all about cooking, needless to say, uh, and there's a lot of um, cooking kit. I'm going to show you some cooking kit today here as well, just to demonstrate what we use to go to make money online. But uh, but yes, yeah, so that's live later on, uh, and I use that directly from the phone because I'm doing it in the kitchen. But you can also use a third party software, a third party camera, and actually stream from your uh, your PC or your Mac in my case. Uh, so it's all good, all good indeed. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing um, today. So I'm Nick Wood, I'm in the UK, but I'm live streaming on Amazon.com, which is Amazon in the good old USA, a place that uh, once, once we're all vaccinated and traveling has become normal again, uh, I cannot wait to go visit. I've never actually been to the USA. So if you're watching in the USA, tell me where you are. And, well, you don't have to tell me where you are, but just, uh, yeah, give us some pointers. I know Randall, who's also, also live, uh, I think he was in, I think he was in New Orleans, uh, which is a place I definitely want to go to. Sorry, croaky voice, because it's early here. And you can prove I'm English because I'm drinking tea. I always have a nice, nice cup of tea first thing in the morning. But yeah, as I say, what you want is you want to have an iOS device. Now I have, and in the carousel, I have the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, and what I love right now about the iPhone 12 Pro is that it's on a on a discount. It is eight hundred and nine dollars. What I love about the iPhone 12 Pro is that Apple brought out the iPhone 13 late last year. And that means that the price of the 12 comes right down. Now, I know people rave about the camera, not just on this phone, but on the 13 as well. Um, so you know, if that's all you want it for, go check that out. But the camera on the 12 is also spectacularly good, I have to say. Um, I was using it and it's uh, on the carousel, you can get a pre oh, a preconditioned one, a reconditioned one, fully unlocked uh, for that price, $809. When you think the time last year, these phones were retailing at $1,500, $2,000 in some cases, then, uh, you know, $809 is a bargain. And it gets you going, gets you cracking on Amazon, not least. Um, but yeah, the phone, let me talk about the phone first of all. The phone is amazing. Uh, the, camera rather is amazing i was at my nephew's wedding um a couple of months ago end of november and he got married a uh, lovely boy no, he got married to a lovely boy called jay and um and they got married in an, an old converted abbey they converted an abbey into a hotel an old english abbey so you can imagine this abbey is like 600 plus years old if, if not more and they converted a hotel so the lighting was a little bit iffy there was some place in the abbey which is not very good for lighting uh particularly funny enough particularly where they actually had the wedding but this camera has some brilliant low light features and i was able to take not just amazing pictures but amazing uh 4k high definition video in super low light surroundings and the results were spectacular absolutely brilliant in fact for the next show what i'll do is i'll upload I'll check that they're okay with it. I'll upload some of their some of their some of the videos that I took, uh, and I can show you just how good uh, this camera is. Now that I've shot those videos uh, in 4K, uh, we are streaming here on Amazon on 720, which is standard definition, um, but we can shoot on standard definition 1080, which is high definition, uh, 4K, which is ultra high definition. All those we can do on this amazing little phone. Now, the other things that this phone does is it is uh, it can be wirelessly charged, but equally it can have a super fast charger. Now, I use my phone 24 seven, okay? And so I charge it at least once or twice a day because when I'm filming, like most people use their phones just to scroll their social media, take a few selfies, and uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and take a couple of calls. But I use mine all the time. I'm videoing it with it all the time. I'm pretty much running my business from my phone. So it does need charging. So there's a brilliant, they have a brilliant charger that charges up the phone pretty much in from pretty much zero to full in about an hour and a half. Super, super fast charge. Um, it doesn't come with the phone. 
unfortunately. But uh, but you can go get an extra one. I think the the super fast charger cost me, I think it was about twenty five dollars. So, but it was a great great phone. Um, yeah, super Bluetooth, um, very high processing, uh, lots and lots of of storage, um, and yeah, and even even the this the super super camera is brilliant but also we do a lot of selfies don't we so the other front facing camera i don't know, I don't know whether you call it this is the back so that's the back camera i think this is the front camera and even the front camera is uh is brilliant and uh, and that does a fantastic fantastic job well worth it uh particularly if it, and that's the thing guys well worth it particularly if you're thinking of becoming an, an amazon live stream influencer because you need an ios device you can get the preconditioned ones. My friend Marco Novo, uh, who was also a live streamer here, he went and got himself uh, an Apple. I think he got himself the iPhone 7 for a couple of hundred bucks. And within the first month, he just repaid it. it you know, the money he made from doing his Amazon live streams, uh, he was able to recoup that money. And bada bada boom, uh, he paid for his iPhone. So that's, you know, this is the thing. I like to teach free or super, super, uh, cheap ways to get started making money online and this is certainly one of my favorites okay. right so that's that so as i say it's a camera that we need to first of all uh go live on amazon for sure but if you're going to be using a third party software you're just going to link it and uh, have a third third party camera external camera then you're going to link it to your PC or your laptop, something like that. And your PC and laptop will have pretty much, I'm guaranteeing you, they will have a built-in camera and a built-in uh, microphone as well. So you can use that totally kicking off. But if you want to upgrade uh, both your audio and your video, then I would suggest in the carousel, we've got the Logitech HD Pro 920. Now, uh, that is on an 11% off at the moment. So that is right now, that is $71 in that carousel right now. If you click on that, uh, go and check that camera out. I'm going to show you uh, through the magic of this BeLive broadcast. I can show you the difference uh, having these cameras makes. So I'm just going to switch on my, uh, my Mac's internal camera. Now, I fairness to my Mac, I haven't optimized uh, this, this camera, camera. Uh, so, so but it just gives you, you a, a, a demonstration. demonstration so, so that, that is, is logitech, logitech, logitech on, on the, left. the left internal, 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 internal on, on, on right right this is what i love about be like and i can be like live is that i can just do all these things in real, in real time, time, time and it works, and it works seamlessly, seamlessly. Absolutely, absolutely love that um, um so you can so see, you the, see the difference um, um for sure for sure and, and uh, uh, even though i've got a bit too much light from this room i've got i've got this morning this morning sun's, sun's rising, rising. Da, da. Yeah, we can't, uh, we let, can't little let little things, things like that just, just get, in, get our in our way of a of juicy, juicy live live stream can we can we um so yeah you see the see the difference in the logitech and and the internal while i've got the internal oh oh actually actually I mute, let me mute the internal. You're probably getting a little bit of an echo there because it would have been picking up double, uh, might have been picking up double. Um, although I'm using some software called crisp.ai, I think it is, uh, that hopefully is noise cancelling. So it might not have picked up. Um, but let me just put the this in stream and then I can actually show you the camera. See, and the camera just sits quite happily uh, on the top of my Mac. If you've got any questions, do pop them in the in the comments. Just uh, let us know. And uh, if you've got any questions, I shall do my best to answer them. So this is the uh, the 920 Logitech. Absolutely beautiful little camera. This will, I say, we are streaming on Amazon in 720, which is standard definition, which is like a, a DVD definition. So nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but this camera can record in 1080p, which is high definition. Um, you can have the, the latest versions of these, um, which cost a little bit more, and they will record also in uh, 4K ultra high definition. So you can go right up the right up the scale. This one you can do 1080p high definition. I mean, you know, I, I personally don't see why you need to do any more than that. I can do 4K on my phone, no problem. But this is for 
live streaming. Uh, and the reason that Amazon you know, likes to have, like, lets us do 20 is most people watch these on their uh, tablets or their mobile devices and so you know we don't want to chunk up all your data so we don't want to put too much data down the pipe uh, or across the airwaves um, that will use up your data allowance so uh, that's why we do 720 pretty much um, so yeah this is great little brio camera totally fully adjustable so it will sit quite nicely and uh, a big shout out to my friend Stephen Healy who the other day reminded me that it also has a mounting socket on it as well. When I've been doing the cooking show, I have been balancing like this, trying to balance it. So, and so I'm thinking, please don't fall, please don't fall into my pots and pans, please don't fall. Uh, and Stephen was demonstrating his, oh, excuse me, itchy nose. Stephen was demonstrated his the other day, and uh, and he said, oh, cooks, it's got this. Like, oh yeah, it's got this mounting. So actually, instead of that, I can actually screw it into my uh, screw it into my little mini i uh, my little pad, uh, little tripod, uh, and that way it becomes rock solid. I don't have. I no longer have to worry that it's going to fall into the pan when I'm cooking. When I'm showing you what's going on in the pan, or indeed fall into the mixer, which would be even worse. Probably uh, that wouldn't survive. Oh, but probably would survive, but you wouldn't like it. Um, so yeah, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a busting lot of fun. But uh, but no, now it's a rock solid, so I don't have to worry about it falling in. So that was good. So thank you, Stephen, for for that. Props to you, my friend. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's just unscrew that now. Um, how much do I need to put that in the carousel? That little uh, tripod. So there you go. That this is it. And I'm going to tell you the other. Brilliant thing this does. Just gonna move the wires. Oh, get behind, get behind there. Don't be a silly dad. That goes back on there. Hopefully that's good. And through the magic of live streaming, I'll put that back as the default camera by taking that one off. Ta -da! There we go. Uh, so now we're back. So it might have mucked up the settings a touch, but but there you go. That's the uh, that's the um, the Logitech HD uh, nine twenty. A brilliant, brilliant. I would say a really entry level. But I've had that for a couple of years now. It's an entry level webcam, but it is great. And so you can not only live stream, it also makes your recordings better as well. Now, one of the things about all Logitech cameras. Uh, it allows you access to the Logitech, um, to the Logi, uh, where have I got it? To the Logi uh, capture software. So just uh, fired that up on, excuse me, it's a croaky voice. It's a bit early here in the UK, only just after seven o'clock, 20 past seven. But yeah, you get access to the uh, Logi software. So I'm going to share my screen and show you that because that allows you to do some brilliant things uh, as well. It gives you total control over your over what you're over what you're doing. Um, so I just want to show that in stream. Share that. That's better. Show in stream. Hey, hey. Um, so yeah. So this is this is the software. Let me put myself down in the bottom again. So now you can see two of me. And so we can use this to, to, to film ourselves. One of the things that I talk about in my book, um, Side Hustles That Actually Work, is uh, one of the things, and it's super, super popular now, is to teach what you know. So basically record yourself, give it to it, create a little course, and you can record some video, do some, write some notes, create a little PDF uh, that take out, but you can deliver your course on video and with this you've got some extra little bits and pieces to play with now i'm just going to take off that branding because that's blocking uh that's blocking me so let's come down there and learn and earn and take off that oh that's the wrong button i just want to hide it that's better it should go uh okay 
not sure what that is there, but never mind. Um, yeah, so let's go back into the back into the stream, uh, back into the logic. Okay. Um, so yeah, look here we go. So we've got this is what we can do with source one. We can select source two, uh, which is currently set for the studio. Let me. There you go. So I can pick a second source. So I've got source one and source two, uh, and then I can switch between them on in the software. Uh, I can have them in picture in picture. Let me just uh, take that off the screen. So yeah, so we've got in picture in picture on either side. Uh, you can flip through one side and on the other side. Uh, you've got your record uh, buttons down here. And of course, you've got you can take a screenshot with that little camera. Uh, there's your little file set up to save your files. Um, but over here, we can set the priority, uh, so you can have it prioritized by frame rate or exposure. Uh, you can have a zoom, uh, and when you zoom, you can then pan upwards, downwards, back to front. Click the reset button. Take it back to normal. Um, you can have the auto focus. I've got the auto focus off because I don't want it uh, getting out of focus when I lean forwards. We can play around. It's got auto white balance. We can set the white balance. So if you don't like, sometimes if you feel that you look like a little too pale, uh, sometimes the light, because I've got yellow light here, makes me look too warm. So I play around with the uh, white balance to try and get the, the best, uh, the best, most natural look. Huh, I know, hard. I've got the face for radio. Um, but then you can change around with the, uh, the the brightness, the contrast, the color, saturation, all of those. And you've got the anti-flicker uh, as well, so you can have that on uh, 50 or 60. And this is a bit that you're going to love the most. Let me just put it back on to me. Uh, and that is, got the green screen behind me. Bang. So that then wipes out the uh, the green screen, so I can then put uh, an image behind me uh, on there as well. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, what's not to love about that? Um, so yeah, then you can flip the source. Uh, that's all good there. Um, see what's all this one? Ah, oh, yeah, here you can. Here's some lovely things. You can add some text. So hi. Um, uh, is in in real time uh, so that's cool uh, you can watermark it uh, you can show and hide the text so uh, that's neat uh, all right yeah that's why that is there because I've done something uh, I put the background so that's it take the background off that's what I want I want no background at all that one there you go so yeah you can have a little bar all the way across uh you can have alignment uh that you have to pay for the extra effects um but you can realign um you have some filters here as well that you play with um again some of those unlock uh and here we have the borders so we can change the border color make the border thicker uh, all these different things and you can do it for first source or second source and then you've got these transitions so if you want to transition from one to another, hit those transitions. So you've got an awful lot of control. Uh, and this is free software. This software, um, this is brilliant. This software comes with, let me just take it off so I can. Uh, yeah, this free software comes uh, with the camera. So at the moment, that Logitech camera, the Logitech 920, is a bargain in the carousel 71 bucks okay uh, so you get all that you get high definition recording it also comes not only is it a, a, a webcam it also comes with built-in uh, microphones so it's actually an upgrade on your on your on your audio as well um, and that software which allows you to do all those different things allows you to use the green screen ah i tell you what for 70 not 71 bucks Click that, uh, go and check that camera out. They are 
absolutely brilliant absolutely fantastic cameras so yeah that's the that's the logitech brio 920 okay so the next thing you probably we've covered the fact that you need your iphone to uh to come into the broadcast uh, and then we can upgrade our audio and our video with just the one logitech uh webcam but also uh, you might want to upgrade your audio and audio is super super important and i put the in the carousel again this is another absolute bargain right now this is a uh, 23 percent off it is now under a hundred bucks 38 nearly 39 thousand uh four and a half star average reviews this is the blue yeti microphone to me this is not just an awesome microphone it is also super super aesthetically pleasing absolutely gorgeous i i pre-lockdowns uh when i was doing trainings and i'd go into companies and deliver some trainings and i'd use this uh microphone and people would totally ignore me uh they would come up and they go oh my god i absolutely love your microphone it looks so cool and yeah it does i keep meaning i need to have a little check and see whether this design has won awards because if it hasn't it really should have it's absolutely the best microphone i think on the planet but microphones are very personal you know you need to find one uh listen to different people see what they're using but uh this one is mine it's been with me for a while now um it was recommended to me fun enough my very first video guru a really lovely guy called ben brophy first got me into blue yetis he was using one it was his microphone of choice and so i went and uh, i went and bought one um it is fantastic uh it is multi-directional so at the moment this is uh, this if i change it around it might uh, it might mess up my it might mess up my uh, my audio but basically you can change it here you've got four settings so i've got it currently uh on i think it's called cartoid so it's a basically a one directional mic so it's looking at me and picking up my voice directly um, but you can have it um, bi-directional so when I'm interviewing people, if I was in the office, I've got someone sitting next to me or across the table from me, then it picks up both our voices. Brilliant. If you're podcasting, absolutely fantastic uh, for that. Um, and also, if my little niece was here with her amazing band, the Mystic Keto Band, um, then and they were playing, I'd have it on a on a general surround settings. And the final one is it is also a stereo microphone. So if I put it on stereo, walk from one side of the office to the other, and then you had stereo, you'd be here from your two different speakers, uh, whichever way I was. So that is great. You can also adjust the uh, the pitch and the gain there. <clears throat> on the other side, we have the volume button so we can change the volumes around. And we have a mute button. So if something goes on and you just need to quickly mute your microphone, you can do that really easily. Uh, it is super, super simple to, to actually import it. It also has uh, a microphone um, socket there as well. Um, so you can just plug in your microphone, sorry, microphone earphone socket so you can actually hear your audio directly uh, from there um and yeah i've got it on this beautiful desktop stand because i just have it sitting on my desktop but you can actually lock it into there are other uh um, stands that you can have it sideways hanging it upside down excuse me itchy nose um so yeah so you can do all sorts of things with it. and basically it just plugs in back uh in the back of your mac computer laptop um with a usb so it's like a usb cable plugs in and any operating system will instantly recognize it and you're good to go so it really is a plug and play microphone but it is so sturdy so solid and also in the in the carousel because it doesn't come with these uh, mouth guards uh, but you can get the mouth guards from amazon as well so and they're not going to be very much at all in fact in the carousel doesn't say but but no, they're only going to be a couple of dollars. And if, like me, uh, I'm, <laughs> I, do, I developed a little smacking in my mouth. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe my teeth, maybe my teeth are moving around. Um, so I might get myself a little uh, 
mouth guard as well to try and delete that. Still on my tea. Actually, I love these mugs. I'll have to see whether they're on Amazon as well. Um, okay, so that's the microphone. That just increases your audio. And it's going to might sound counterintuitive, but the reason that audio is so important is that most people will be not watching your live stream or your video uh, when they come to your website or your social media or on Amazon, particularly on Amazon, because we have products in the carousel. And so we take, you know, we're encouraging people to go and check them out in the carousel. So people click that, that will open in another window. So they'll be looking at the, uh, at the product, but while listening to you continue to describe it, I mean, chances are the, the live stream uh, that is in the carousel will up. The product might be on the product's page, which would be cool. And um, that does happen quite regularly. But, you know, for people that are just come in a quick look, they will still hear you. And that's why, you know, people will forgive uh, bad video uh, if you've got good audio. I mean, a lot of times, I don't know whether you do the same. I will listen to uh, YouTube videos more than I watch them, to be honest. And the other thing is I, I switch them up to uh, at least one and a half times the speed <laughs> as well. Um, so, so, yeah, so if you've got good audio, that allows that to happen really, really easily. And so, you know, people will listen to you. And the whole point is you want to get more eyes and more ears on your content, on your live streams, uh, particularly, you know, in order to get some great sales. Now, uh, I'll go a little bit off uh, off topic a touch because I want to share with you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I need to put them in there. I need to put them in the carousel. Um, I have these great, uh, I bought these brilliant, I don't know if you know, but I was, uh, the reason I also have this Keto Nick cooking show is I lost about uh, just under 50 pounds in 2021, uh, like 20 plus kilos, I think that is, um, through adopting a, a keto lifestyle. And I have this brilliant um, business coach called Carrie Martins, who just so happens to be also a 100 times Ironman uh, triathlete. So needless to say, when we were chatting about weight loss, he got me onto the, the keto stuff. He said, look, if you're serious, Nick, he said, uh, ditch the big carbs, uh, like bread, pasta, and uh, and the like, uh, and, <clears throat> and exercise. So that's what I did. And him being a triathlete, uh, needless to say, with the exercise, I used to run a lot. Uh, so now I'm back into my running. I swim. Uh, and I have a bicycle, so he said, oh, maybe you think of doing a triathlon. So uh, I kind of got talked into it. And um, and so for the because it's dark here in the UK, I needed to buy myself some bicycle lights. So these I got from Amazon. These are great. These are a Cooper bike light set. They're 25 bucks, but they are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The backlight is superb. You just clip it into, basically you clip it uh, around the, the the back of your um, saddle, the little saddle bar, uh, and that is rock solid. Um, they are rechargeable, so you've got your, so you've got your little recharging port there, um, and the front light, you've got a little recharger there, and they've got multiple different settings. I could show you uh, here with this man now but what i did is i made little shoppable videos of them and i popped them on my on my youtube channel uh, so i can share with you uh, how they look so i'm just going to grab the the shoppable link uh, and that way i can show you uh, the little videos and this is the another way where as a live stream amazon live stream influencer uh, we can we can make money. So uh, let me just open up my studio. It's going a little bit slow, um, but this is the thing about Be Live. So I can I can just drop these YouTube links into Be Live, and you will be able to see uh, the little video I made of these um, of these lights, which is really cool. Um, but for some reason. Hey, Amazon customer who's just started, follow me. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Uh, do, guys, yeah, if you're watching on Amazon, please do. I think the follow button is just in that bottom uh, left-hand corner. So, yeah, you click on that. And trust me, guys, you won't get 
you won't get uh, spammed with emails or anything like that. It just allows us to uh, allows us to show you um, how our uh, when we go live. So I'm just grabbing this shareable link. For some reason, my computer is going super super slow. So I'm not quite sure why. Um, probably something I've done. Uh, so let me click that button there and just paste that in there and push to the staging. Um, so yes, yeah, so I did an unboxing of these lights um, as well as I made this uh, little video of me <clears throat> putting this light onto my bicycle. So I'm going to stop my video uh, so you can see it in all its glory. It's only about a minute. Uh, and hopefully you can hear it as well. I'll mute myself and set the video. So we've put the little holding attachment on. It comes with two rubber bits. The two rubbers was too thick for my handlebar. So I dropped it down to one rubber uh, and then we can see drop it down to run one rubber so we can see now that that is attached you don't need a screwdriver or anything because it's just hand tight you can actually get a little wrench on there make it even tighter but that is pretty uh, rock solid you want to uh, your want that pointing just slightly downwards because obviously you don't want to blind people and then the simple thing is to we have our our headlight well, I think you get the, the, the gist. For some reason, my computer is going super slow. It must have something uh, must have something going on in the background that it doesn't that it's not told me. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, something is chewing up my uh, chewing up my memory. Let me free up some memory, and uh, hopefully that'll be fine. Hey. Lovely to see a lovely follower and do Omar. Hi, how are you? Great to see you. Um, how can join in Amazon Live? Ah, oh. yeah, to join in Amazon Live, you need to become an Amazon live stream influencer. So you're just watching the video, uh, all the different lives. Uh, basically, you need to become sign up for it, become an Amazon associate, so which is like the Amazon affiliate program, uh, and then you can. Uh, join the Amazon live stream influencer program uh, depending on uh, how many followers you have so look I've got um, in the in the tracker down below here uh, you can go and check out on my YouTube channel nickwoodvideo.com um, I've got videos there uh, that show you how to do that um, super super easy um, and then also there if you uh, it's got all my contact details uh, if you need help I actually have a, a, a Wednesday this might not be a great time uh, for you, but uh, it's a live Zoom call on Wednesdays, which is 2 p.m. in the UK. I'm not sure where you're based or what time zone you're in, but 2 p.m. in the UK. Um, I have a live Zoom call where I teach people how to become live stream influencers. Uh, we talk about all different things. So the criteria for live streaming, how to how to actually host a live stream uh, because one of the things that some people struggle with is a being uh, live in front of the camera in the first place uh, b knowing what to say so we talk about structure how to use a third party software so i'm using uh, b.live which is my favorite and in uh, that zoom call i can give you uh, discount codes for the paid versions get 30 percent off uh, either monthly or yearly subscriptions super super good um and of course you know i teach you how to use that fully uh yeah and then how we go and uh, monetize how we build a bigger audience uh not just uh, live streaming on amazon but also by simulcasting so this is currently being broadcast on uh, my nick wood uh, facebook page that's at ask nick wood it's also being broadcast on one of my YouTube channels, uh, the Get Clients with Video YouTube channel. Um, and there's also lots of other uh, Facebook pages and groups that I don't simulcast into every single day because I cover pretty much the same topics every day. Um, but so I don't want them to get bored. Um, but but then I can bring my uh, social media audience over 
to Amazon, which is where we want you. We want you on Amazon. So I let them in the tracker here. We've got, don't forget to unmute, follow, and find me on Amazon. And just type into your URL, nickwood.live, and that points you directly to my my live stream or my storefront. So that way, you know, we bring an audience over to Amazon. But the Amazon audience that we already have here, people, it's the thing. People are on Amazon because you guys want to shop. The reason I go onto Amazon is because I want to buy things. And if I see someone on the live stream demonstrating something that I'm interested in, so as an example, you know, I was looking to buy a bicycle headset kit. So I went onto Amazon and there are lots of different bicycle, uh, bicycle bike light kits. So I wanted one which uh, which basically showed me what they were like. This is the this is the difference. Yeah, this is the shift um, between uh, offline and online uh, buying and selling. You know, certainly pre-pandemic uh, times, the online selling was going up. And in, in an exponential graph, it was going up quite steeply. But still, the traditional shopping methods were, were the ones that people used to going into shops, big stores. But the, what the pandemic has done has really given a shot in the arm. It's that's turbocharged uh, the selling online. But this is the thing, and this is where um, all network marketers used to struggle, MLMers used to struggle, is because you know they, you, you you know you wanted to be able to demonstrate the product. So demonstrating the product on video and on live stream, this is like everyone having their own QVC channel type channel. So it's a live stream channel. My aim here is. If you're interested in bicycle lights, my aim is to show you that these lights are fantastic. And the reason I bought them is because they work really well. They do exactly what I want. You know, you can do lots of different things with them. Uh, they flash uh, and they do lots of different flashes like that. Uh, loads and loads. I need to work out how to turn them off. That's it. Um, and even the front light. This is a super bright light, by the way. Don't blind yourself. But yeah, super bright light. So you can have it slightly dimmer. And you can also have it flashing, uh, which is cool. Um, and again, they're all rechargeable. This one is brilliant. It's so weighty. It's really solid light. So yeah, so if you're interested in bike lights, you know, and you've come in and you've seen that in my carousel, or you've gone onto the uh, onto my storefront, seen those shoppable videos and seen me unboxing so you see exactly what you get uh, you then see me install the front light on so you know it's super easy to install uh, then you know chances are you would then click on that and go and buy those lights as well because i'm showing you exactly why i bought them why i love them and that's the thing about uh, live selling is you've got to have products that you use you need to use the product um, because otherwise people will think you're you're fake and you know that's you know, they're not you're not here. I guarantee you. Or everyone watching on Amazon is not here to see me say, oh, oh. Actually, let me give you a demo um, because it's in the in the uh, there you go. There's a demo in the carousel right now. Is the Bello Games Collezioni chess set for two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Now I'm good at chess. I like playing chess. I don't have a super expensive chess set. Um, and I certainly don't have that one. But for super chess enthusiasts, you know, that would be a great, great, uh, great, great gift. Um, or it would be something that they might like. My my father went to Italy, La Spezia, and he brought back with him. He went on, on a work trip. This is years ago. This is back in the back in the 70s. And he brought back with him this super heavy marble, um, marble chess board. Uh, and then I think... It was it was okay in those days, but I don't think it's allowed now. I think it was an ivory um, chess set that he bought while he was in Italy, and he had that in. He actually had a table made, so he had this chess set table inlaid uh, in a table, and uh, I, I don't know if he's still got it. I hope he has. Um, and it was a beautiful chess set, uh, very much like the one on Amazon. So now he could go onto Amazon. I might actually send him this link and uh, see whether he's up for. Uh, buying a beautiful big chess set but you know people could just do that and uh and because it's a high ticket item come on and wax lyrical about how good it is i have no idea how good that is um so uh 
that's not good you know if i had one if i had it i would take a photo of it um so uh, so yeah so that's you know that's that is uh, not such not such a great idea but people would do it that's a sad thing um sad but true um cool ah oh, my good friend who's on live now i'm going to share with you some more live people oh my goodness it looks like i'm the only live kid on the block right now um so thank you so much for watching thanks for coming and checking in um and again this one is all about learn and earn live stream essentials and one of the other essentials is a book by my good friend lottie and uh, uh, confidence on camera this is a brilliant book i have to say um I, it's on my bookshelf i can't just reach it at the moment because i've got another book out um and all my books will go flying um but it is a brilliant book lottie uh, was a tv uh, presenter uh, in in hong kong uh, back in the day uh, and she yeah that's where she learned her craft she did everything from live streaming you know on tv uh, with uh, live tv with children with animals and, uh, and in this book she just really expands on how you can get your presence across you know how you can engage uh, with your viewers and it's like a little bible uh, so if you are interested in live streaming so that's actually a perfect one for you uh, and do uh, if you're still watching um that book uh, confidence in camera it is now you can get it for just six dollars 99 74 percent off that would be brilliant i would go grab a copy of that um that is absolutely a brilliant book and say it it comes it, it just really it's a really go-to little book if you you know if you think you're I, I read i still read it because you know sometimes you live stream all the time and you can feel your live streams are getting a little bit stale um, so it's always good to just grab a copy of that, have a little look and you think, ah, oh, yes, the little things that you kind of forget, you know, you want to prepare, so you want to get yourself in a, in a zone, get some energy, because when you're on screens, that energy dissipates, um, the energy in your voice dissipates uh, by quite a large percentage. So, you know, you, but you don't want to be ah, all over, but you just need to be able to project uh, and, and project your personality through so you know that book is absolutely brilliant and it's great lottie uh, she now lives in ireland and she's one of us fellow live streamers um and so you know we we did a did a lovely live stream with her back in march last year gosh march last year um we did a we did it we five of us or more than five of us but we did five days worth of using different third party live stream software um because there are lots of different ones you can use I use the one I'm using right now is the B dot live software. I absolutely love it. Um, it has some amazing live selling features, which are awesome. And it allows me to simulcast. Uh, I'm simulcasting on two Facebook pages and a YouTube channel as well, as well as with you guys on Amazon, because that is where I want to bring my social media following over to Amazon, because that's where I love to live stream the best. It's why wouldn't I? It's, you know, it's a beautiful, brilliant platform for live streaming. They've built it absolutely for live streamers. We stream in 720k, which means we're not chewing up loads of data when people are watching it on their phones or on their mobile devices, on their tablets when they're out and about. So, you know, that's why I love, uh, love uh, broadcasting on Amazon and sharing, uh, sharing what I know and love. Now, earlier on, we did, we talking about the camera the logitech camera that i'm using right now and you could see i demonstrated with that uh, logi capture the free software that comes with it uh, we demonstrated the green screen behind me now this green screen is part of some kit that's in there that is in the carousel now this is the newer um pretty much mobile uh mobile studio kit is absolutely uh fantastic comes in two bags um this element of it is the is the green cloth on the frame so the frame comes in one bag uh, and you've got a green cloth but also you don't just have a green cloth you also have a black there it is you also have the uh, the black cloth as well uh thank you whoever started following me on amazon thank you so much 
really appreciate it. Hey, do uh, do click that follow button down in the bottom left hand corner. Um, you won't get spammed with emails. It's just yeah, you'll get notified if you're on Amazon when I'm live again. You'll know when I'm live, uh, and you might get notified in your. You can see it on your on your in your column there. You'll know when I'm live streaming. Um, there also comes with a black cloth and also a white cloth, and I, that's not easy to hand. Um, but uh, but yeah, the white cloth. I used that with a client. They wanted to they wanted their ads to be a little bit like um, Apple ads. They wanted white background, so the white cloth came into its own there. And the black cloth really good for photographing products. So if you're an Amazon drop shipper, if you've got a product on Amazon, then you, a, a you really need to be a live stream influencer because no one knows more about your product than you do, um, and you would be brilliant at, at, at explaining that. Um, but also with that black backdrop, um, it is great. It's a great background for products to, to demonstrate your products uh, and to photograph them in their best light at multiple different angles. Black is a is a great background. Uh, yes, nothing. There's a reason that you know people wear little black dresses and things like that. Black is the color. Well, it's not a color, is it? It's a tone. So um, let's get our let's get our facts straight. Black and white are tones. Green screen is a color. But I mean green, you can use blue. Actually, you can use any color because it's it's a, a chroma key that we use to remove it. The reason we use green is because it's not the most used color uh, on on the clothing. So it makes it nice and easy uh, to use. And whilst I'm wearing a dark T-shirt today, you know, I would say to people that I'm filming, wear pastels. <laughs> talk, about, talk about do what you do. Don't do what I say. Do as I do, as I say, not as I do. Um, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> it's my, my show. I'll do what I like. Um, OK, so that, that's a newer kit. It's down at $197.99 today. Well worth it. It's got some beautiful. Ooh. It's got the um, the umbrella light. Uh, it also has a diffuser, big box diffuser lights as well. And they come in these little packages. That's a diffuser over goes over the cover. I won't actually open this one up today. So it comes down. It opens up. You plug the uh, plug the bulb in. The bulbs uh, last an amazing length of time. Um, they'll. I've not changed one yet. I've had it for a couple of years. So they do brilliantly. They plug in independently. So you'd want to make sure you get uh, a multiple uh, plug socket extension um, because you will end up um, plugging lots in. And if you can plug them in. Uh, at the same place then uh, then that would be good um depending on what you're doing of course um but yeah you then play around with the light and light is so important when you when you're shooting video um you know i'm sitting here in a in the little uh, back office room i've got a little ring light uh here at the moment. i'm not sure if that's in the carousel at the moment uh i'll have to put that in and talk about it uh if we get time um oops just pressed the wrong button um yeah, so we need to to check that out, that ring light. Um, and so that's what I've got. And I've um, I've got a window here as well. The sun is rising. Ah, first time in ages. The sun is rising in the UK. It's uh, just coming up for eight o'clock. And uh, the sun rises and comes through this side window of mine and uh, casts a light across the green screen. So I can put those uh, I can put those diffuse lights behind me and it just keeps that light, that green screen behind me lit. Uh, and that's one of the things that we love to do with lighting. You can have too much, you can have too little. You want to get it just right for to set the mood, to set what it is you uh, you want to do. If you're watching on, guys, before we go on to the next item, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, in the tracker below, you can see, come and join me on Amazon, nickwood.live. Type that into your URL. That will bring you here on Amazon where you can join me and the other Amazon viewers uh, and see what we're up to. Check out what we've got in the carousel. Uh, we've got a little mixed bag today um, because I wanted to just show you some of what I, obviously what we use or what I use as my favorite kit to live stream and just record video and create little things. Um, but also we've got some other extra bits that relate to my ketonic cooking show as well, which will be on later on. Uh, so we've uh, got that to look forward to this afternoon. Um, okay, so what, have, what next we got? So yeah, come on over to Nick, would dot live and uh that will bring you to directly to amazon 
Now, I love the I love demonstrating these. These are these are my earbuds, and they are really cool. And there's a story behind them. These are the earfun earbuds. They are absolutely brilliant. Um, but I didn't think so when I first got them. Uh, right now, they're all massive, massive discount in the in the carousel right now. Massive discount under fifty dollars, forty nine dollars ninety nine. Trust me, go buy them. Go buy them for your friend. Go buy them for your wife. Go buy them for your mother. Go buy them for your sons, your daughters. They are great. They're ear fun earbuds, um, and they really are. They really are good. So this is the. They can have them in black and white, uh, and uh, yeah, ear fun. Um, and this is the little carry case come charger. So they come. They're always charging up, uh, and this charger actually lasts a long, long time. I very rarely charge it up, and they house our little earbuds here so we take them out and uh they come out quite nicely and here they are these are our lovely little earfun earbuds they just teaching granny to suck eggs here i know but they just plug into our ears like so and it's amazing that now when i've plugged them in my ears they take about 80 percent of the background noise straight away because they fit so nicely and the reason they fit so nicely is it comes with lots of different ear covers different sizes when i first started using these i was like ah oh, man they keep falling out no i got the wrong size and i hadn't realized you know i did like any like a typical bloke i didn't read the instructions i just stuck them in my ears pressed the buttons until i worked out what was happening um but no once i understood that you yeah, had different sizes but i got the right size in and they work a treat. Now they are not just great to, for listening. They got um, they got uh, extra bass and things like that. Um, they're not just great for listening though. They are brilliant uh, with 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 audio. They've got four. It's actually got four microphones, two in each earbud, that pick up brilliantly. So the clarity uh, of my voice when I'm on a call or when I do. When I'm out and about and I'm live streaming, I might do a, I might live stream into one of my groups on Facebook and it is really great. Oh, thank you. Someone else has followed me on Amazon. God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, when I'm out and about uh, and I want to do a live stream, then this audio is absolutely superb. And they, uh, people would not believe it. No, I normally say to people, look, if you're out and about, you want to use uh, a lapel mic uh, so you've got crystal clear. But as long as it's not you know, blowing an absolute gale, these work beautifully. Um, they're super, super easy to use. You just tap them on the sides. I won't tap them. I did this demonstration yesterday, tapped it on the side. Suddenly I had a 1980s ABC, the look of love blaring in my ears, really off-putting um, because it just switched on with my phone. Um, MD started from MD. Thank you so much for following. Really appreciate it. That's great to know. Um, I'd love to, actually, I'd, I'd it's wonderful thank you so much it's just it makes the live stream all worthwhile and um, yeah so these earbuds are so cool you just use them tap them on your ear uh to take calls play music here's something i didn't find out till this weekend i didn't realize i was listening to my music uh i took them off because the phone uh, the landline phone rang so i'll take them off to, it paused the music and when i put them back in the music started again. How cool is that? That is brilliant. Um, and so, yeah, these are just great fun earbuds. Uh, you say you can use one at a time. You don't have to have them both in. You can have one in, uh, one in at a time. Um, and that's it. And they are just brilliant. Now, uh, they have, I think they have, if you check it, click it on the, click on the carousel and you can see all the, all the details, all the, all the, all the tech. But I think I'm right in saying I think they've got about a 37 and a half hour uh, life uh, battery life in the earbuds. Um, but one of the other things it does say, I think, is that if they have run out and so you've got no juice in your earbuds at all, and you're like, oh, no, I need to go out. I need my, I need my earbuds. Um, actually, for, in a 10 minute charge, will give you uh, two hours of uh, of earbud playtime. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that. You say, do if you click on the click on that uh, that link in the carousel, then uh, you can double check that. I'm pretty certain that's uh, that's what it says, um, which is brilliant. I mean, they do charge. Like I say, I've, I've not charged them that often, but when I have charged them, they've charged like that. They've been super super fast. 
So you know, that's really cool. And I've got, I bear in mind, I'm demonstrating them every day. I use them every day. Um, I, I have not charged this up for a good couple of weeks. I think not since before Christmas. And they're still working absolutely brilliantly. And when I put them in, uh, I don't know if you can see that uh, because it's white and quite bright. A uh, little green light comes on, which shows that charge is still in the little charging pad. So these are good. So you can see that's 50 bucks, guys, 49.99, 50 bucks. The reason I got these was when I got my iPhone, which is also in a carousel, I talked about it earlier on in the broadcast. When I got my iPhone 12, uh, it was brand new, wasn't the reconditioned one. Uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, it didn't come with any, uh, I had a 6S Plus at, at the time, so I had wired, uh, wired ear, earphones. That it came with uh, this one didn't you know these new ones this apple don't come with with all the extra kit you need didn't come with a charger because you can do a wireless charging and you can charge it with your old charger but for the fast charging which is one of the big selling points um, you have to buy an extra charger for that uh, and it didn't come with any earbuds and apple earbuds are, don't get me wrong are brilliant um but you can you know, they're but they're like 150 200 bucks you know they're expensive uh, whereas these 50 bucks and these are brilliant absolutely love them for a, a great great price as i say uh, that sort of that sort of money you buy them as a makes a brilliant present that could have been a fantastic stocking filler um you know over christmas um hey guys guys and girls let's not be sexist a little valentine's gift maybe for the one you love on february the 14th yeah, i like to get my promotions in early um yeah uh, what's not to love about that if you buy that i was <laughs> making an outrageous claim by that, you're guaranteed to pull. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Um, but hey, that's uh, that's one of those things. I, I can say I love them, and that's why I say, guys, when we're broadcasting on Amazon, we have to have the product. You cannot just go and pick a load of you know high ticket, lazy, the lazy live stream influencer who will get shut down. I tell you now, um, we'll just go find all the high ticket items in Amazon and, you know, take some dodgy pictures, dodgy screenshots and say, oh, look at this amazing thing. Um, no, that's not what we do. We show we share the things that we love. We share our passion. I was actually I saw it on a video the other day. Someone was talking about, you know, if we don't just share our passion. Maybe we want to share our curiosity, you know, something you're curious about. Uh, so you buy stuff on the curiosity uh, factor. Then, uh, then that's the stuff you can show. So, but anything, you can, anyone can get started. I guarantee you. Um, you know, you got all, you got all manner of things in your house that are either you bought from Amazon. Easy thing. Just go into your Amazon order history, find what you ordered, grab it, and come and demonstrate it and show what you love about it. Uh, providing you do, um, or indeed, you know, they, you'll probably have things. I had things that I didn't buy from Amazon, but are listed on Amazon which I use in my kitchen, as an example. Um, so I can link to the Amazon link, the page, the product page, um, and, and use the product and demonstrate the product that I'm using. I do it with a, a brilliant garlic crusher that I have. Um, yeah, I didn't buy it on Amazon. Wish I had, it was cheaper. Um, but yeah, it's a great one, to, uh, great one to share. So what is up next? Oh, up next is, do, do, do. Oh, yeah, this is a crap, cracking little item cracking little item that i love um and that is this beautiful oops put it around the right way so you can see it yeah this is the one pad um uh, projector and it is i think a little mini projector that for 89 dollars under 90 dollars is an absolute bargain i got this it was my parents 60th wedding anniversary back at the end of august and they've got four children uh, I've got four children. They've got uh, oh, seven, seven grandchildren, and one, two, two great grandchildren. Uh, and so, what we wanted to do was we wanted to make a video montage. I say we wanted, we did. Uh, I, I we got lots of photos. We have got all their old wedding photos. We got photos from all the siblings uh, and of their families and then of their families families and we made i made this beautiful video montage uh, of, of of it and it lasted about 15 minutes it was great set it to music 
it was gorgeous and within what we want to do was show it they had a nice little party um 60 i mean 60 years married is well worth celebrating in my book and a lovely little party in a beautiful big hotel um and again a bit like my nephew's wedding um it was an old converted big old house I don't know if you get these in the states a lot but certainly in the UK you know any old old building um nine times out of ten the owner will have fallen on hard times and ends up selling it an old an old duke or an old earl an old count if you're careful how you say that um might have had to sell the family fell on hard times had to sell up and a lot of them have now become these uh these hotels and very nice they are too um so yeah they're my nephew's uh, went and got married in a lovely old abbey so that was hundreds of years old um but my parents uh, wedding anniversary was in a big old house um that the guy i think the guy who built it was big in the sugar trade or something like that uh, but anyway i don't <laughs> because <laughs> excuse me i'm telling you the story while i'm busy taking the projector out so back to the back to the plot my parents 60th wedding anniversary I had this brilliant little video made for them and we wanted to show it. the initial idea was oh we just put a laptop up and, and let people see it on the laptop um but we wanted to go a little stage further we thought oh hey we didn't want to get the laptop stolen so i went and got this little mini projector and it blew me away it was really really good um you you can plug in uh, you've got high definition cable plug in you've got usb you've got uh, normal cabling um you can you can have your earphones in and you can play uh, it's Bluetooth as well. I think you can link it to your computer so you can put presentations up. In fact, uh, I've not done this, but I'm going to do this as a demo, I think, for a shoppable video. Is that you could also attach it if you're watching Netflix or Amazon Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime, I need to put a link in the, uh, in the carousel for that. Yeah, if you've got Amazon Prime and you want to watch a movie, then you can link this to your uh, laptop or your PC, but you've got your Amazon Prime uh, app and you can play the movie on the projector uh, and it is brilliant quality, absolutely brilliant quality. Uh, you've got great zoom, uh, you've got great focus. Not only do you have your uh, controls here, it also comes with a uh, remote control to uh, uh, infrared remote control, I believe that is. Um, so you can do all sorts of things with that with gives you menu you can change the sources for it um but it's really good and when we used it it was we played this video it wasn't the greatest wall we had in the world they had uh, some wallpaper on it and it was in end of august so it was actually quite light uh, which again wasn't the best thing but it absolutely uh, was brilliant really did a good job so super super pleased with that um, and as i say for 89.99 What's not to love about that? It's a real, a real bargain. And it comes with the different, uh, different cables that you can use as well. So I'll put the remote control down the side. Um, yeah, you've got a box of cables there. So no problem uh, linking it up with all your different pieces of kit. Um, and yeah, and it comes back in this lovely little box. Uh, we set, set on the box, it says, we hope you have an excellent shopping experience. So if you have any problem, please feel free to contact our customer support representative. And it's got the contact details on the side of the box. But uh, as I say, if it's my recommendation, I would say it is a great, great piece of kit. Uh, hey, Jeffrey, hi, how are you doing? Uh, can you show a demo? Uh, a demo of, I can't show a demo of that actual thing at the moment. Um, because I'm in a small room, but I'll make a shoppable video of, of that um, because it is a great little projector. I'm assuming, Jeffrey, you're talking about the projector. Um, I can give you a demo of something else if you wish. Uh, and hey, A. Marquez started following. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, if you're watching, please do hit that uh, hit that funky follow button down in the bottom left hand corner if you're watching on on social media i'm simulcasting right now i'm broadcasting not only on amazon live which is my favorite place to broadcast um i'm also on facebook and youtube so if you're watching on those channels uh, do follow me come over to amazon it is nickwood.live type that in your url come on over because i 
promise you, you're probably watching uh, on those channels either in the UK or somewhere else. This is Amazon.com. So this is Amazon stateside that we're broadcasting on. Uh, and, you know, when I talk about Amazon Live to people in the UK, the first question is, what? And uh, when I explain it and show them, whoa, it is absolutely amazing. Um, so, yes, Jeffrey, I will demonstrate that uh, another another day. But, uh, but yeah, is there anything else, Jeffrey, that, you know, what you're, you're interested in that I might not have? in the carousel but if you're interested in in live streaming uh, then there might be something or video in general uh, i want to know some of the bits of kit that we used and it might be something that i do have that might not be in the carousel that i can demonstrate for you i was demonstrating yeah. earlier uh, my amazing blue yeti microphone which is always good ah oh, no i would i'll tell you what jeffrey i will do that um I can't talk i will do that today I'll make a little demo video um, and I'll pop it up on YouTube. I'll do a little review. So if you go over to that YouTube channel, uh, nickwoodvideo.com, uh, that'll be up late, either later today or over the weekend, I promise you, because um, it is a brilliant little projector. Uh, I, I, I can't, you know, it was a, a, a purchase that I wasn't expecting to make because it was a mini projector. I wasn't expecting much from it, but oh, my God it was uh it was really good no problem jeffrey no problem hopefully you're you're following here on amazon as well always lovely to to have you guys thank you and thank you so much for en engaging and if you've got any questions like jeffrey there if you've got any questions please do just pop them pop them in the chat and uh and i'll answer them and i'll also like text a little answer as well saying thank you for your support so yeah it's cool yeah thank you for your support um cool yeah jeffrey yeah i'm uh just outside london uh actually um place called farnborough hampshire um you might know it. we have a international air show every two years in farnborough it's uh it's like it's the uk's you know uh arms expo effectively um you know where we sell all our all our drones all our airplanes all our fighters uh also a uh, commercial there are commercial planes as well um but yeah, it's a farmer. It's where the air accident investigation uh, unit is as well. So if there's an air accident pretty much anywhere in the world, uh, they will normally send all the parts um, to Farnborough and at the back end of the airport, that's where they have the huge, huge, huge uh, warehouse where they can lay it all out. That's how they get to the bottom of, of how planes um, crash, how that, what happens. And it's amazing what they can piece together. Uh, really is, uh, really is interesting. So I'm about, uh, about 35 miles from London so it takes me on if there was no traffic it would take me about 30 minutes to drive into the west of London hop on a train and I could be over at Tower Bridge you know in an hour uh, the reality is that, <laughs> that it takes about on a on a rush hour it'll take about two hours to get to to drive maybe not two hours um, take about an hour and a half to drive into London but uh, but uh, yeah and then get the trains but I'm not sure. I think there's a actually I think there's a strike on at the moment, uh, so you just have to drive. But yeah, have you? Yeah, Jeffrey, have you ever been to London? Uh, it's I used to work in London. I used to work just just by Tower Bridge, just across the road from the Tower of London. Uh, and at one stage, I worked in the city as as well, um, not as a broker or anything like that, uh, but uh, as a it was a company, a shipping company, Bulgarian shipping company. Uh, I worked for back in the day, years ago. Uh, it's much better to to live stream. Okay, I mean we talk about uh, about videos and live stream videos. Uh, yeah, what you will find when we've been when we uh, when we stream on Amazon or if we recording video, if we record video in high definition or four K super high definition, we're going to end up with some super super chunky uh, files. Uh, video files uh, and they are uh, and you need to put them somewhere so you can either have them you can i know you can have them going up into the cloud i, I do do some cloud uh stuff as well but i really like to keep hold of them um, like a belt and braces job really and this is why i use and this is in the uh, in the carousel right now um it's not saying what the price is but basically it's a seagate uh, backup drive and these backup drives are super super good um this one's four terabyte uh 
check it out. All the details are in the carousel. Click on that link. Uh, and yeah, you just USB, plug it in. This one I first got uh, in order to use the the um, iMac. Uh, I had it on the iMac. And it was the, I'm trying to think of the name, what they call it. Um, their, I'm going to have to click the button, Time Machine, that's it. So the Time Machine backup. So I used that, set it on auto, and it used to back up my Mac. Uh, constantly uh, which was really good and four terabytes that was uh that could back it up forever and a day but then i was getting some super super chunky uh, video files and they start you know you've got them on your on your hard drive then they start to eat up your hard drive too so it's always a good idea to take them off put them somewhere safe and so i use this now because um, i don't need such a large drive for my uh for my um for my time machine and so now i use it to, to back up my videos uh, and keep my hard drive nice and clean which in theory will keep your mac or your pc moving much quicker much easier uh and it's and it's really good so all you do is literally plug it in the back uh, when you first have it you just uh, format it for whatever it is you want to do uh, word of caution um all these hard drives so don't drop them it's not the best idea i have dropped this and i've got away with it but uh, do treat them with a little bit of respect. And um, there is a carry case as well. I'm sure if you go in the carousel, click on that carousel and you'll see there'll be carry cases that you can buy as well. So always worthwhile uh, with the carry case. I've not got the carry case in my carousel because I'm not sure where I put it. We moved. <laughs> we moved uh, back in November. And yeah, you know, it's like when you move, some things just weirdly go astray. So um that's uh what what can you do uh, ah jeffrey thank you for for following me cool uh you're in oh wow you're in leighton buzzard six years ago how cool and tour london and catch the tube wonderful short visit business yeah i used to actually i can say i only live uh as you can as you can tell i'm uh i'm english uh, hopefully you can tell by my accent um in fact i don't know why i'm calling myself logitech there that was when i was demonstrating the the, the logitech camera let me put my name up so you know who i am uh yeah i am nick wood Ta -da! and there you go i'm in the uk but uh for many years for about 15 oh no nearly 20 years uh i was living i don't know about 15 years i was living in germany and uh so i used to fly back to the uk um pretty regularly actually it was you know, on average about at least once a week one day or sometimes twice a week um for for meetings that was when uh, my art head office was by tower bridge and uh and that was a great place and so all those things and and when i was you know when i've been working in london before and and when i was living nearer to london than i do now you know i didn't really do any london touristy things but then i moved to germany when i flew, flew back again like yourself jeffrey on business um then i yeah i did the tour of tower bridge i did the tower of the tower bridge tour which was really interesting uh that's the bridge that goes up and down like that by the tower of london fascinating that's absolutely fascinating tour um yeah and then we had the family over from australia so we went and did the uh, the tower of london tour london zoo i mean yeah there's so much to see in london if you ever get a chance you know maybe i'm not a londoner but i was brought up just outside london so it's my nearest city and uh, yeah i love it it's i would say in the sunshine london is the most beautiful city in the world in the rain probably the worst <laughs> but uh, yeah if you get the chance come check out london there you go i should get paid by the london tourist board i might i might give them a call later on uh, yeah certainly if you get a chance do visit london it's fantastic um okay let's have another look now yes as i say a little bit of neglected a little bit off topic for live stream video other than as a live stream influencer and engaging your audience and talking about things you love. Um, and this is a little book that I love talking about. Uh, as you know, we've got the Keto Nick Cooking Show. Um, if you don't know already, uh, the reason I do the Keto Nick Cooking Show is that I did a, I changed to a keto lifestyle uh, last year uh, and have lost just under four stones, so about um, just about 50 odd pounds, I think I lost. Uh, so it's over 20 kilos. And uh, so whether oh wow you're in seattle oh my god cool that is another that's a place on my bucket list places to to visit um from watching i used to watch what was the program called fraser 
I think he was based in Seattle, wasn't he? Um, used to love that. Um, with the Space Needle, I think. I hope I've got the right one, Jeffrey. Um, yeah. Oh, well, welcome, Seattle. Gosh, what must be pretty late in Seattle. <laughs> Jeffrey, thank you very much for watching. Um, so, yeah, so we've got the, the, the Keto Nick show. Uh, it's, a, it's a cooking show. So, you know, because I lost the weight, um, because I, I was challenged by Adair Palmer, who's a lovely lady over in Brisbane in Australia, uh, a fellow be live user and live streamer and uh, i was actually on I was, I was doing an amazon live stream like i'm today chatting with her in the chat jeffrey like i'm with you and she was saying oh i wouldn't i'd really like to do a cook-off with somebody i said oh, go on i'll do that um and so we started doing these these england versus australia cook-offs so we had a dual stream so she would you know we'd both be on together but she'd be in brisbane on a houseboat uh, if you got some old ones in, if you look at my old videos, there's some in there. We haven't done any since before Christmas. Um, uh, poor Adair was was <laughs> on the houseboat. It was getting, it was rocking. It was a bit like uh, pirate radio back in the 60s in the, in the UK. I think her houseboat was rocking and rolling, and so uh, it was very difficult to, uh, to do it. But summer's here now, and so hopefully over the next few weeks we'll go back to our our cook off. And so we were doing keto cook offs. Um, and uh, and yeah, so that's and, and I evolved the ketonic cooking show to teach people how to you know, have this healthy life, and that keto food is actually really tasty. And I and I don't miss the big carbs. When I was first told, oh, take out, you know, not not strict strict keto. I think we call it dirty keto. But yeah, I was told uh, by my business coach, a one hundred times Ironman triathlete, so he does know what he's talking about. Uh, he was talking, he, you know, and he said, just take out the big carbs. And so that's pasta, bread, rice and potatoes. You know, you look on my face must have been a picture because uh, I think that was all I used to eat. Maybe not the potatoes, but pasta, rice and uh, and car and uh, and bread was like, God, that was my staple. Um, but anyway, they changed it, took it out. And, uh, you know, and I don't don't regret it at all. Lived without it quite happily. So I did the ketonic cooking show, right? Also, it's a great, a great thing. You know, I love cooking. Um, it also allowed me to put my chef whites on. I went to the Raymond Blanc Cookery School here in the in the, in the UK. The, it is a uh, two-star Michelin uh, hotel, uh, the Cat Saison, uh, the yeah, the Cat au Saison uh, 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 hotel, uh, and uh, and yeah, so I was able to cook and of course demonstrate all these kitchen products that I have that I got from Amazon. So it was a win-win. So I demonstrate my my KitchenAid mixer, my Nutri Ninja uh, IQ blender, all sorts of kit there. Anyway, but one of the things I love about cooking, and this is literally the chef's Bible, one of the less known books, it is the Flavor Thesaurus. And you might think, how on earth, this is like a cookbook like no other, and people think, you know, how on earth do chefs come up with these different flavor combinations? And how do you know what works with what with flavors and different things? This book has it all. And it teaches, it's like a cookbook, but not, it's, you know, no pictures whatsoever. But if I just pick a page, at, this is a page at total random. Um, and the thing is, it talks about liver. OK, so liver is something that, you know, is not a not a super super uh dish for most people but uh, it pairs it so you've got liver with apple uh it is a blood it's blood that gives liver its characteristic flavor the liver is one of the few places in a mammal's or bird's body where a large amount of liquid blood collects so it is perhaps not surprising that apple which goes so well with rich delicate blood sausage should go well with liver too in mainland Europe, poultry liver and apple are a com a combined in mousses, pâtés and terrines. And that is very, very true. Um, so, yeah, so you've got liver, liver and bacon, liver and beef, liver and beetroot is a combination that works. Um, liver and black pudding goes well together. Liver and chili goes very well. Liver and fig goes very well. And it gives you a little, little paragraph as to why these things go so well. Um, liver and oily fish. Um, I wouldn't have thought of that particularly liver and onion that's kind of traditional um liver and sage liver and truffle there's an interesting thing so uh so yeah um interesting isn't it liver and oily fish red mullet is sometimes known as the woodcock of the sea as like the woodcock its liver is highly prized it might be served separately as a pate or pounded up into a sauce to accompany the fish in provence in france it is sometimes used in saffron and garlic uh, roulette 
and accompanies in Bula base. Um, and chemo or monkfish liver is one of the most revered uh, or rare delicacies in Japan. Its velvety, creamy texture has a greater claim than even the red mullet liver to be the foie gras of the sea. Who knew fish liver? You see, that this book is a fountain of knowledge. So if you like cooking, um, and I do, then seriously, get this book. I mean, it, 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 does, it does tell you about a couple of little recipes as well, but it just pairs these flavours. And I remember... I'd, I'd never heard of this book, but I was watching a, a UK uh, Master Chef program, and the, the girl that won it, who was from South London, um, and she had a really thick—I can't remember her name—but she had a great South London accent. And and they asked her how she paired such amazing flavors, and she said, "Oh, I use this the flavor thesaurus." And uh, John Tarot, who was one of the judges, uh, said, "Oh my God, I use that as well." And uh, yeah, I researched it. Um, bought it and yeah this is pretty much the chef's little chef's bible and that absolutely shows you what goes with everything else how cool is that um so if you like your cooking i would uh, i would go grab that as well um now the last thing actually i haven't got it in the one last little cooking item i want to share with you i haven't got it in my carousel so i need to quickly please bear with me i'm going to quickly pop it in my carousel uh my cooking essentials and yeah there we go added okay so now that is in the carousel go back to my live stream i believe i can now highlight it this is what i love about there you go so that's how easy it is to add something to your carousel on amazon and it is the anka anka zenka bread basket set now this is <clears throat> becoming a huge, huge craze. Uh, Artisanka, Artisanka, a bread basket set um, comes with comes with instructions. And Jeffrey, I've been trying to demonstrate this so long. I've, I've done it a couple of my live shows. <clears throat> excuse me, um, and it's been my fault. It hasn't worked. I was chatting to to uh, to the lady who owns this uh, <clears throat> the other day, saying, "What am I doing wrong?" Um, and she told me, so I'll have another go. Uh, what was, I was, I wasn't putting enough. Excuse me, <clears throat> I wasn't putting enough uh, rice flour on the molds. But basically, this is a brilliant, um, a bread proving set. And uh, excuse me, I'm gonna have to just unmute and have a quick cough. At my... <clears throat> excuse me. Hopefully, you didn't hear that too much. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a bread proving set for artisan bread and uh, sourdough bread sourdough bread making your own is becoming super super popular and um, the reason is because it is much better for you than processed bread and um, once you've had sourdough bread you don't want anything else it's delicious super easy to make i mean the ingredients are flour and water you create your own sourdough culture uh, you have put it in a little jar it grows by itself after seven days you feed it after seven days you can use that uh, as a as a starter for your bread the bread proves in the basket uh, and these baskets are these baskets are lovely they're they're ridged they're handmade they're wooden um, and they're ridged but the best thing is this one i used before as you can see the flour still in it uh, you have these little i didn't put enough flour on this you have these little uh, pattern templates so you can put a pattern on the bread also comes with a comes with its own uh, dough scraper which is really important uh, and it also has a whole ton of these patterns so you can have lots of different patterns of your on your bread so you can impress your friends and family you've got a heart uh, you've got a little rose that is there um, that is a unicorn so if you have children uh, unicorn uh, or for any women in your life they all all ladies like unicorns i think uh, a windmill and hey we like to get in early valentine's day guys a heart what says i love you more than a sourdough loaf with a heart on the top oh. i'm not saying that's a guarantee of everlasting love but it'll certainly get you on your way no question no question 
Will it? I don't know. Depends if your loved one likes sourdough bread, I guess. Um, but you'll get A for effort. That's for sure. That's for sure. I might try that out on my wife. Shh. Don't tell her. It'll be a surprise. Uh, so, yeah. So, this bread set. So, they, they all come in. Lots of different ones you can use there. Um, yeah, you get full instructions. Uh, <laughs> full instructions. Uh, and actually, uh, uh, she's actually going to... Uh, in, uh, upgrade these instructions because this is brilliant you know she's an amazon uh drop shipper with a brilliant product she took the feedback that she got from some of her customers saying the instructions could be a little bit more uh, precise uh, and so she's actually taken that feedback and she's updating her instruction so that is what you know that's one of the lovely things about uh selling buying and selling on amazon and getting to know uh the people who have the product and again that's what i'm saying guys if you are if you're watching you're probably just a shopper but if you're watching and you are you actually have your own products on amazon maybe you've got uh a, a use amazon fba maybe maybe you've got your own books with with uh, kdp um maybe you've got uh, you're a drop shipper so you've got your, your your own products a whole range of products you know you want to become an amazon live stream influencer get on this program because no one knows your products and services and books potentially better than you you're the you're the genius that came up with them in the first place you know the pain of, of going and sourcing if you're drop shipping so you know the provenance of where your product is coming from you know how it's been put together you know its journey you know what was the inspiration behind what you were doing so this is a perfect platform because you can then explain your products i cannot explain with the same passion as anna can her bread baskets i love them but it was her baby her creation she's the one that was making sourdough loaves wanting to enhance it wanting to come up with something that will make it unique, a little bit different, and then having the gumption to go out and actually create them, get them made, get them handmade, get them shipped over. Absolutely brilliant. So she will be able to talk to her, talk to you about that with a passion. She'll be able to explain how to do it uh, with much more experience and knowledge than I am. So if you're in that boat, then become an Amazon live stream influencer. And if you're stuck, I'm going to give you a got to go now. And oh, Jeffrey, thank you so much for your comments really appreciate that um but yeah guys I'm, I'm about to go myself but but yeah guys you know if you if you're in that situation if you know someone in that situation um then you know i run a separate self-promotion guys if you don't mind but i run on a wednesday at 2 p.m in the uk i have a free live zoom call where i teach you how to become an amazon live stream influencer it's like a 15 minute bit i will do a little mini teach on a certain aspect of it and then I open up for Q&A so you can ask any questions, how you get started. And it is proving very, very popular. So if you know anyone like that, please do let them know. Uh, NickWoodLive.com will take you to the registration page. It's not on the tracker. I don't like to do so much self-promotion on Amazon. But yeah, NickWoodLive.com, you can register for that. I can say it's 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, and if you want to learn how to do this, then, you know, how to get started that is the place to be oh so thank you if you've been watching on amazon thank you so much really do appreciate it it's been fun to live stream it's been a pleasure to live stream for you i'm not sure hopefully now there, there might be some more live streams uh up and running uh it doesn't look like it ah oh, you're still stuck with me but hey lucky for me that i'm able to live stream for you uh at this time and share with you my passion for live streaming, for video, for cooking. And so thank you for sticking with me. Thank you, Jeffrey, uh, for watching so uh, resolutely and uh, and and interacting. And thank you, everyone, for following me as well. Um, I think, uh, yeah, A. Marquez, thank you so much uh, for following. And of course, Endu, thank you for following as well. Uh, so thank you all for following. That was, uh, better spell it correctly. Um, and I should be back uh, later on this afternoon um, just on my phone. I'll be doing the ketonic cooking show. Uh, I might talk about cookbooks. I'll show you my KitchenAid, my NutriNinja, show you some uh, cool things about that. So if cooking is your bag, then uh, that, come and join me for that. Uh, I think it'll be around about uh, 1 or 2 p.m. today.
I haven't set a time yet. So if you're following me, uh, do check it out. It will show in the in the following. If you follow me down the bottom left hand corner, hit the follow button, and uh, that's great. And the hope of uh, enlightened you, so that you can go ahead and go uh, make money. So thank you all for following, and have a great day wherever you are. So that is Amazon. Goodbye to our beautiful Amazon friends and family. And so, guys, you know, again, as I said, if you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, then uh, and you want to learn how to do this, I'm getting thousands and thousands of live views uh, over on Amazon. We don't get anywhere near that level. I don't care how many followers you have on Facebook or YouTube. You will never get lev that level of live stream viewers on those channels. Um, because they're not promoting live shopping. The reason we love Amazon is because people go to Amazon to buy stuff. People don't go to Amazon just to play around. They've gone to buy stuff. They've watched my live stream because they're interested in what my live stream is about. They're interested in the kit. They then go and press the products in my carousel. I then, well, they then get a cookie dropped in their browser and for the next 24 hours anything they purchase from amazon gets accredited to me as the amazon associate or affiliate and so i get the commission from that commissions on amazon aren't huge but they add up and the more people the more viewers you get the more clicks you get the more cookies are dropped uh, people are there don't forget people are there to buy so you know a click pretty much will equal a purchase of something i mean i ship you know thousands of dollars of product a week so there we go all these things add up uh, and as an example yeah the very first having just switched that stream off on amazon uh, these figures will go up but uh, yeah these figures are stunning we have there was over a thousand and thirteen viewers live uh, today with an unmute rate of 11 just under 12 percent which is a very very good unmute rate and uh first data out is 39 product clicks so that means they've clicked my carousel uh, 39 times there's 39 cookies dropped on people that are amazon buyers they're there on amazon to go and find something to buy something um, and this is the data that gives that feeds through to me immediately after that live stream uh, typically over the next few hours that data increases as amazon uh, gets the real data uh, it never decreases it only ever increases and as i've been live streaming through the week the live viewers and i'll be doing it at seven o'clock in the morning and uh, and two in the afternoon but i can see that graph going up now so tuesday wednesday thursday and today's friday that graph has gone from 800 odd live viewers up to over a thousand uh, i'm pretty certain it'll be like 1100 by the time the real uh, views have been counted so i'm that shows me that because i'm being consistent then Amazon are showing my live stream, making it more visible when other people go in and see it. Um, hey, I'm live streaming at seven o'clock in the morning. From what I can see, I'm the only one live streaming there. There are only, I think, about 1,500 live Amazon live stream influencers in existence. So this is super, super cutting edge and new. Um, when you think there are 150 million Amazon live members, so that's people that have signed up for Amazon Live. So they they get the video, they've got the uh, one-click purchasing, they've got the 24-hour, sometimes less than 24-hour delivery. So Amazon Prime, sorry, not Amazon Live. So Amazon Prime, 150 million Amazon Prime users, and there are something like 300 million Amazon Live customers. So there you go. Why would a, why on earth would you not want to live stream on Amazon? Okay, guys, that is it. As I say, do join me if you're interested in this you want to learn how to do it how to get started um, then do come and join me on wednesday 2 p.m in the uk it is nickwoodlive.com that's the registration it's a live zoom call with me uh, there can only be 30 places so do get in quickly um, that registration uh, will we'll just register for that zoom call 15 minutes quick teach by me then a q a will get you started Okay, have a great day. Stay safe wherever you are. 